everyone. Welcome to the first video of uh, Dan's Farming Life. My name's Dan, obviously. Uh, this has been, well, three years in the making. I've been wanting to do video vlogs for, yeah, for about three, maybe four years, and I've just never really had the courage to do it. So I thought, these past couple of days, I thought, you know what, I may as well just go out and do it. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a sixth generation farmer. I run alongside my granddad and my father. Uh, we've got a 1500 acre farm. Well, just over, we're doing arable and uh, grass for horse feeds, so for haylage. We, we also grow barley, wheat, and all seed rain. We do a bit of composting as well. And we mainly run fence. Obviously, I'm not in a fence at the minute, I'm uh, in, a, in a new vulture. I've been, uh, I've been uh, put out on hire at the minute as myself as a driver to help a firm who used to uh, do a bit of work for a couple of years ago. So, yeah, uh, in fact, this, these videos are going to be really about the day in the life of me, to be honest. It's going to be different content each time, but doing stuff like this, carting biosolids, carting compost, making compost, shredding and obviously the farming alongside as well, like we're doing the contracting and everything else. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So here I am now refilling. Refilling biosolids. Takes roughly about three and a half, four hours to fill a trailer. So we've got a bit of time to kill them out. For a mobile centrifuge, we're drawing out that big tank there through the pipes into this machine. That's your waste water coming out, going back through the system again. Basically, it works like um, a big tumble dryer, it spins around at like 2,500, 3,000 rpm, and it forces the sludge out and it comes out dry like this. I'm not gonna lie, it might be brand new near enough, but it's no pen. The T174 X demonstrator, 21 plate, but most basic model. Pulling um, a 14 or 16 ton Bailey roof crop trailer. Here we have been loaded. That's dry material. What I'll do is, I'll take the trailer off, let it fill up the front while I go take another full load. And then by the time I get back, it's filled up to this much. So I'll look on and then start filling from the back. And in about two and a half hours time, three hours time, it's full. This is the tank we're drawing out of. I'm not quite sure on the capacity of it, but it's a lot. There's 20 of these tanks at this unit here. And we're unloading one by one. So what will happen now, once my trailer's full, that will go to land and then obviously be spread. It's high in phosphorus and uh, other key nutrients to save on fertiliser. So, yeah, the sludge gate, what's going in my trailer here, will end up going to land. It's got nitrogen and phosphate in it, so it is quite high in them key nutrients to save on fertiliser. Um, but other than that, that's just what I'm doing today. Hopefully I'll have some better content for you on the next video and I might be a bit better at doing the videos as well. I just want to say thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much.